Hey everyone, this is Taylor with Civil Engineering Academy and today we'll be working a PE Civil Water Resources problem about a drinking water rapid mix unit. So the problem statement says, with a design retention time of 1 minute, dynamic viscosity of 2.735 times 10 to the negative 5 pounds seconds per feet cubed and a velocity gradient value of 700 seconds to the negative 1, the power in foot pounds per second that must be imparted to 1 million gallons per day of water passing through a rapid mix unit is most nearly what? So we were given a lot of numbers, a lot of variables, what do these all mean? So first thing, we're going to turn to PE Reference Handbook, section 6.9.2, and specifically 6.9.2.2 about mixing, and it has the equation for a rapid mix in flocculator design, and that equation is G equals P over mu B. So what do all these mean? G is the velocity gradient, P is the power, V is the volume, and mu is the dynamic viscosity. And so let's see what the problem statement gives us. We have a retention time of one minute, so we'll just say T equals one min. Dynamic viscosity, that's our mu, equals 2.7. 3, 5 times 10 to the negative 5 pound sec per feet squared. Um, let's see, velocity gradient of 700 seconds to the negative 1. So that's our G. And we need to find power equals what? And we're given a flow of Q equals 1 million gallons per day. So we also need to find V. So to find V, we have a Q and we have time, so we pretty much just need to do Q times time to get our V. So let's do that. We got 1 times 10 to the 6 gallons per day times one minute and we're going to need to cancel all those units out so we got 60 minutes per hour and we got 24 hours per day and then we also are going to need to convert this gallons to feet squared squared over 7.48 gallons and this just comes right out of your 1.2 conversion factors okay and then our total volume for that detention time in the flow is going to be 92.84 feet cubed Okay, so now that we have that, we can pretty much just manipulate this equation to find P and plug and chug and then find our answer. So if G equals the square root of P over mu V, let's square both sides. So we got G squared equals P over mu V. And let's multiply this to the other side. So then we got P equals G squared U B. And then we can plug all of our information right into this equation. So we got sec to the negative 1 squared times our 2.735 times 10 to the negative 5 pound sec per foot squared and then our V was 92.84 feet cubed so 
this means our units are going to work out to be, well, our answer is going to be 1,244 foot pounds per second. So we got foot squared here for cubed, so that's one pound stay the same seconds to the negative one squared, but we only have one on top, so we'll have, I guess, one left on the bottom right there. So everything works out there, and let's look back at our answer choices. We got 1,244, so that looks most closely to B, and B is our answer. So if you need any more help studying for the PE Water Resources Test, be sure to check out Civil Engineering Academy for more study courses and content and study materials so that you can ace this test the first time.